Hallelujah. Welcome to ADHD Whiskey and welcome to the 15th day of the Minnesota Whiskey Elite Blind Whiskey Tasting Advent Calendar for adventure people and people who don't like adventures but like whiskey. If you can't tell, I'm wearing a vest and I don't know how to wear a vest. Do you wear a vest with short sleeve shirts? Do you wear a vest with long sleeve shirts, with sweatshirts, with coats? Do you just not wear a vest? Is it just supposed to be hung up in your closet saying that you have a vest? I know how to wear a sweater vest, but this isn't a sweater vest, although it's kind of like a sweater vest. Maybe I do know how to wear a vest. For two weeks straight, we've taken a blind sample out of this box and poured it in a glass and gave it a score after we talked about it. Today, we're doing something a little bit different. And by different, I mean exactly the same. Day 15. America. Day 15 seems to be, I don't know, pretty dark, I would say. A pretty dark looking whiskey, which makes me smile a little bit because it's like, are we gonna get into some oak here? Are we about to get into some oak? Eamon and Daniel of the Minnesota Whiskey Elite know I love a good oaky bourbon. And is that what we're about to get into here? Based off the color, it looks like it's a possibility. Let's go in for a nose at day number 15. Oranges. It's like an oaky orange. It's like one of those chocolate Christmas oranges you smash on the table and it breaks into a bunch of pieces. And then you eat one every 10 minutes until it's gone. Or until your wife tells you no more chocolate. I don't know if this smells familiar to me or not. There is some citrus notes. There are some oaky notes. There is like a French toast kind of aroma coming out of here. Kind of like you haven't made French toast in a while and it's the first one in the pan and you kind of like burn one side a little bit and then you really burn the other side, oops and it goes in the garbage. And by garbage, I mean my plate. There's some sort of like a custardy note on here, like a lemon meringue custard. It almost has a bit of a zesty icing note to it. Will I put you on my naughty list or my nice list? Based off of your smell, I cannot tell. The battery die? Son of a bitch. You're telling me the battery died already? This came from the dollar store. Oh, I knew I should have splurged and bought two. Mm. It's beginning to smell a lot like don't know. Not quite sure what it is, but if I smell it again, I might just think of nothing. Let's put day 15 down the hatch. This is very good. It's like a warming cherry hot chocolate that you put a bunch of bourbon in. It coats the mouth rather well. It literally tastes like a delicious hot chocolate with some maraschino cherries like muddled in it. Proof is above 100. Let's go 110. Going back to the nose, and it smells more like a traditional bourbon now. A lot of the citrusy notes have dissipated, and now we're getting more into like brown sugars and vanillas. Maybe there might still be a slight tang there. Maybe a little bit of a slight tang. I wonder if this is like one of those Barrel Craft Spirits products that's like coming from different states, like Kentucky, Tennessee, and Indiana. I feel like I'm picking up bits and pieces from all over the United States. If by all over, I mean like a little tiny portion of it. There's not like an overabundance of oak here. This probably has some significant age to it. Not like 12 or older, but probably around eight to 10. It's not like super de duperly well-rounded. There are some jagged edges to this a little bit, kind of like a point in the middle of the tongue, but not necessarily a bad thing, especially as this flavor profile. It almost seems to be fitting. It's supposed to be sharp. The smell of this keeps changing and keeps getting better. This smells like cherry wood furniture that you removed from a humidor. Today, I think this whiskey is very good. It's a 7.6. Let's find out what we were drinking on day number 15. Wah! Oh, this is a seven year Mayer Pingree single barrel selected by Haskell's Wine and Spirits. 
suspected to be MGP distilled in Indiana 127.2 proof. That is a super unique MGP. That profile is awesome. For being a seven year old MGP, that profile is very unique and citrusy. And I dig that. That's really, really good. This pour comes with a shout out to Mike and his team at Haskell's in the White Bear Lake location for letting us purchase enough of these bottles for this year's advent calendar. Good folks up there at White Bear Lake, Minnesota, don't you know? Haskell's up there in Minnesota. They got all sorts of sit for sale. We got that rye sit. We got that bourbon sit. We got that vodka sit. We got that beer sit. Hey, you can't say sit on the radio. You gotta say noor. Okay, we got that bourbon noor, we got that rye noor, we got that cow noor. We got all sorts of sit for sale. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Matt. This is ADHD Whiskey. Like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on realizing that it's the 10 day countdown. In just 10 short days, Santa Claus will be wiggling his fat ass down your skinny chimney. So don't forget to clean your sweep, get in your fuzzy slippers, because Christmas is coming. Oh, oh, oh.